Dr. Wheeler from the Independent Review of Hydraulic Fracturing in Nova Scotia. Uh, we just had a meeting with what, 350 people in here in Windsor. Overall opinion on how the night went? I thought it was a great meeting. Uh, there were a lot of uh, great comments on our report, uh, the vast majority of which uh, are consistent with uh, what we are saying in the report and uh, they will be reflected also in the recommendations that we are making that uh, we shared tonight as well. Uh, big focus on the precautionary approach, uh, a big focus on community right to decide. And so all of the concerns that people have raised are legitimate. Uh, they've expressed them very powerfully. I've heard them. Uh, the panel uh, will be also uh, hearing all of these concerns and I can absolutely uh, assure Nova Scotians uh, that the genuine and legitimate concerns that people expressed tonight and in the rest of that process uh, are being taken into account and uh, will be reflected in our recommendations. For those that are concerned with the process, uh, what would you recommend that they currently do considering the window to give feedback to the report is now closed? So the, the window for commentary on specific papers, with one or two exceptions, uh, has passed. Uh, but of course, the most important uh, part of the process now in terms of feedback is for people to say to the government what they think of our reports and our recommendations. And uh, there is a lot of uh, information in that report that allows people to take a clear view of, of where the province now should go uh, in terms of this topic. Uh, and I hope that people read the report. It's a balanced report. It's got lots of great information in it. I believe it's got lots of very important recommendations that people now need to take the feedback uh, and ensure that their elected politicians uh, hear the feedback uh, because we're moving from the academic phase of a review into what you might call a more democratic phase. So this is where people need to alert the elected politicians to their perspective on the report and its recommendation. And for those who don't have the time to maybe read the entire report, right now, in a quick summary, in a quick nutshell, you would be recommending dot, dot, dot. We're recommending that the province uh, takes time uh, to consider our report, the recommendations in the report, uh, that we have a serious conversation in our province about uh, this particular technology and where it does or doesn't fit with our energy future. Now, that's the first recommendation. We're recommending further research in core elements uh, of uh, the topic of hydraulic fracturing, uh, to do with community attitudes and to do with life cycle effects of hydraulic fracturing and the use of natural gas versus other energy sources. Uh, and most importantly, we're recommending uh, before anything happens, uh, that com community consent to proceed uh, is hardwired into how this province deals with this issue into the future. So no one should think that anything's going to happen overnight if our recommendations are accepted by the government. Thank you. You're welcome. And I'm